So today in the MTD Tech Corner, we're gonna talk about a high feed tool that I have actually used from Dorma Pramit. So Brad, what have you brought with you today? So this is our BNGX high feed milling cutter. And why would you use a high feed cutter over an end mill? So with a high feed, it's in the name, you can push it a lot faster than what you can an end mill. Um, and also it's a lot more economical rather than having to regrind an end mill or bin it and replace it once you have worn it out. Because the inserts on here, change them around, don't have to do any resetting on the machine and away you go. So what advantage does that give to a customer who's actually using one of these? So a customer with these, like I say, can push them a lot faster on their machine with the feed and also the setup times can be reduced because, like I say, you're just changing the insert round rather than having to reset up an end mill on a tool probe or a setting block. Now, we have spoke about how it's for steel, but what other materials is this high feed for and what different grades do you do? So we do um, inserts to go through steel, stainless, super alloys, things like your ink canals and stuff like that. So essentially this tool is a, it's great for job shops who are doing a bit of everything. Yeah, absolutely. Now, this tool was predominantly made for mold and dye. Yep. And obviously with mold and dye, you get quite deep pockets, which are easy to rough out because you've got the tool. But what about finishing? So we actually do a finishing insert for this tool as well. So once you've roughed out them deep pockets, you can chuck the finisher in, go down and finish the walls in the pockets as well. So essentially you've got a tool that will do everything. Yep. Now, sizing, because you, we, you brought in a 25 mil high feed, but what sort of sizes can I get this in? So we go from 16 millimeter diameter all the way up to 66 millimeter diameter. So we've talked about mold and dye, but what other tooling applications can this be used for? So we can use it on profiling, uh, face milling, plunge milling, uh, pockets, helico milling, things like that. Brad, I've never actually noticed this and I've used this tool and it's only since talking to you and Adam I've found this out, but what can you tell me about the pitch of the inserts on this tool? So on the body you've got a differential pitch between the inserts which will interrupt the harmonics, reducing the vibration on the machine and also relieving a bit of stress on there as well. So if anyone at home is having problem with vibration or hasn't really used a high feed before, how can they get in contact with you to get more information on this tool? So if they go onto our website, we've got a contact us section and on there you'll be able to find your local area representative.